am also a professional racer okay. so we guys race for a living some of us are rally racers who do off roading okay. some of us are circuit racers so i have been very lucky enough to you know do rallying first and then come into circuit so i've got both the experiences okay. and what i'll try and do is i'll give you a good run around this section so basically it's a 1.6 liter engine okay right and it's a quite a zippy car it comes under the ngc segment which is called the new generation cars so people wanted a car you know with a brand name of mercedes or a promise of mercedes but then they wanted something more sporty you know a car which is more responsive and more aggressive and more sporty right so this is the segment the ngc segment which caters to the sporty segment so that is basically consists of a class and the b class so the vehicle we are in is the cla is a cla diesel we also have a petrol version in it okay right and we have an a class standing right there that's a beautiful hatchback with a front grill people love it and we don't even have it for demo here it's just going off on the road you know it's just selling off like crazy and then we have a b class this is the cla and the one going on the track is the gla so gla is more of you know a sportier suv so it has two versions again a petrol and diesel but in diesel again it has a 4x4 variant so it has a formatic all wheel drive gla in the diesel version right okay uh, but cla being you know a more sedan version so people who love sedans would really love this car because this car is really fluidic in terms of design you know new age design so very less aerodynamic drag so obviously you know it can be very zippy around the track so all these cars are front wheel drive cars and around the track you know this is uh, we call it a slalom basically okay. we call this course which we have designed as a slalom we use a slalom for our own trainings when we train ourselves for racing so we thought why not make a slalom and you know showcase how the new generation cars how the sporty segment works in a slalom right so that's about it really uh, let's just talk about the modes quickly and what this car has so in terms of comfort to adjust your seat we've got this is basically your seat okay. you push this back to get the low part of your seat back you push it front you push it up and down according to what you need this is the recliner you recline it and then there's a beautiful feature where you know you can just so this is my seat position yeah. i press the m button and press 3 so this seat position has been memorized by the car on number 3 So if tomorrow you come and sit and you change the position back, I come back and all I have to do is just press the and my seat position will come on on all by itself, right? Okay. So this is just about small thing about comfort. Let's talk about the drive. So we've got the various modes of driving. So there's a button for the dynamic select. I press this button and you can choose from you know individual mode, economy mode, comfort mode to a sport mode. So economy mode is basically your fuel economy. So it, you know the car will stop on a red light when you press the brake and as soon as you release the brake it will start so it's more of fuel economy more fuel saving not aggressive nothing at all in a comfort mode it's just basically all about a comfortable ride right the engine will be a little more responsive a little faster but then it will be much more comfortable ride okay and then what we guys love the most being racers we just drive on sports mode we never do any of comfort or fuel economy because we don't care about fuel okay we guys want to burn fuel we want we want to burn tires so we want to drive on the sport mode see it says d1 okay. so d1 is the automatic drive you go up for reverse and you press this button to go into park park and then now we go again try show also we have these paddle shifters here so we you know in our races we really like to shift gears with our hands so this is up shift and this is down shift this is very responsive and very you know the lag between shifting gears is minimum so we use this when we are racing on the track 